Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to cover symmetry in your painting. So if you're trying to get a symmetric or a mirror image on your painting, you would want to resort to a form of transferring. What you'll need is, I'll demonstrate on a canvas panel here, and with the canvas, you're able to, if it's primed already, you're able to use a um, paper towel to erase or a wet uh, paper towel to help erase. I will warn you that using a wet paper towel tends to smudge the um, medium, which we're going to use charcoal. It'll smudge it, but it won't interfere with the painting itself. So you'll need your canvas. I recommend using vine charcoal. The compressed charcoal is much den much denser and harder to uh, erase, or it may make your lines a little too bold for you. And uh, tracing paper, if you have it. If you do not have tracing paper, you can use some other paper, like a uh, copy paper, if it's if you're able to see through it. So you don't necessarily have to use tracing paper, but you'll need to see through it when you're matching up the other side. So this is what I want to do. I'm going to make, um, on the example, I did like a butterfly. So what I'll do is, I'll say this is my butterfly. And I want to make the butterfly's wings. I'm going to not make the wings the normal so that you can see what I'm doing. And here, so I want to come out with a fancy tip. That's what I want. And I want the other side, I want it to be an open butterfly, and I want the other side to look identical to that. I can freehand it all day and all night, and there's going to be a lot of inconsistencies. And when I step back and start painting or looking at it, I'm going to say it's not the same, it's not the same, I need to redo it, I need to redo it. Instead of spending so much time redoing it and reworking this shape to get it identical on this side, you'll just take a piece of tracing paper or thin paper, you're going to place it down over the subject, and you're going to trace it. Now I don't need to trace the body because the body is there. But I do need to make a notation of where the body is here. That's the body and that's the wing. And I'll do the same thing over here, the wing and the body. That's what I want on the other side. Now I'm going to tra trace the weird shape Now this, you want to make sure you're being exact when you do that. And that is there. I may even decide later I want to get fancier with it. But if I want to get fancier with it, I have to do it on the original. So let's trace this part and then we'll come back and do the other ones. Now all I do, this is the side with the charcoal on it. All I'm going to do is flip it over. And that's the other side of my butterfly. Now I'll lay it down. Remember I, I put a notch there for the head and the bottom of the body here so that I could line it up. These are the two points that I'm going to line up on this butterfly now. Be careful, you don't want to rub off the charcoal that you uh, put on that side. So you be real careful with it. Line it up. I line the head up with the wing, with the body, up here on the top and the bottom. And lay it down. Hold it in place with your other hand. Whichever hand you, you're not writing with, hold it in place. Now on here is what I didn't tell you. You need something to trace it with. You can use the back of a pen, the back of a brush, nothing sharp. You don't want anything sharp. This is a, a skewer. I can use a skewer, but I wouldn't want to use a pointed edge because I don't want it to uh, rip 
the tracing paper. So I'm just going to use the back of this pen and I'm going to trace. Hope you can hear that. I'm scuffing it. It's the only mark on here is the wing. And what you're doing is getting the charcoal to press down on the canvas. So you're going to leave a residue. Now, what I like to do is continue to hold this paper down and check your transfer. And the reason you're doing it is because if something doesn't come out on the transfer, you want to be able to retrace it but keep your place without moving it. So there it is. I pulled this side down so you don't see this very well. It's very empty in here. It's light up in here. Everything else seems to have come off except this piece right here. So I'm going to lay this down because I'm still holding it in place. And I don't have to worry about lying it up here because I'm still holding it in place. Had I not been holding it in place, I would have to line the paper up again with what's already there. Now I'm going to trace, scruff it again on this back side to get the etching to come out. So that's what I need there. And now I can move it over. Let you see that. You see that? That's what you want. So now you can go in and trace that with your vine charcoal. I'm going to turn and make sure you trace what you have and not go off and do something totally different because you want them symmetrical on both sides. Sorry about that. I'm all in the space that so you can't even see. There. Now, I have a symmetrical butterfly. It doesn't look like it when you're looking at it. Sometimes that side looks a little bigger. Depends on how your eyes are. One side may look larger than the other side. But they're identical because you use that etching. You use that uh, transfer paper. Now, if I want to make uh, adjustments to this, say come in and add markings, I would do it the same way. Say I wanted to come in and make a tip. No, I don't like that. If I want to come in and start adding markings to this butterfly, Now I need those markings on that side. Or if I did circles on it. And I need them on the other side. So with your tracing paper, you can come and wipe it off if you like. It's okay, you can come wipe that off and start over. Or you can just come right here and lay it back down where you had it before because you can see through the paper and line up the circles here, 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 and then these lines. Now flip the paper over, line up the body and this tail part. Now, once I do that, I have to make sure I line up the rest of the etching because this is not quite lined up. It's a double line, so I make sure I line it up perfectly. And now I come in and transfer the markings the same way I did it on the other side. Hold the paper down, lift up to see if you have the markings. I have the markings there, and I can see the markings there. Then now all I do is come in and trace them. And when you trace, this is when you want to make sure you're tracing correctly. And now you have two sides with the different decorations 
but you have symmetry. And if you don't trace, pay attention when you're tracing over those lines, you'll get a little boo-boo. And you can go in and just erase it with the paper towel and correct it using your tracing paper. That's how you get symmetry on your objects when symmetry really counts. And that saves you time. You can spend more time painting and less time sketching these out. All right, thanks for joining me. Until next time.